I'm Zoe Canella, reporting for Kids First. Movies are like a reflection of our reality and allow us to explore certain things better. So meet Jacob Perez, who plays a young Mexican boy who crosses the border and is being chased by a cartel and eventually gets helped by an Arizona rancher played by Liam Nelson. This story is about loss, unusual friendships, and new beginnings. Hi everyone, I'm Zoe and I'm here with Jacob Perez. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, in this film, you are next to one of Hollywood's greatest stars, Liam Nelson, and you've worked in several shorts, but this is your first um, big debut. So when you were auditioning, did you know that you were going to be co-starring with one of the greatest actors of Hollywood? Well, I actually didn't know that. I actually didn't know Liam Neeson. I didn't know he was a big, famous person until I actually saw one of his movies, until my parents told me how big he was. And then, yeah, so like, I, I'm like, oh, okay, um, it's a feature film. That's very excited, exciting. And then they're like, it's Liam Neeson. Do you not know who Liam Neeson is? I'm like, no. And then they showed me, they showed me um, a movie. I'm like, oh, this is a guy. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, now I remember him. And now I got like more nervous because like he's a big actor. It was just crazy. Right, did, did that intimidate you at all? Well, I did get nervous, but I didn't get intimidated. But as soon as I uh, met him, he was the best guy, the, the best person you could ever meet. Yeah, I can imagine. Can you kind of um, tell us how it was, I guess, working with him on set? Did you learn a lot from him? Yes, I actually did learn a lot. He actually helped me with my lines and he helped me with my first experience on the, on the movie. He actually chose me to be Miguel too, which was crazy. And the experience with him, on set was just, he was like a grandpa to me. Like he he shared chocolate with me. He shared so many things with me. Um, he shared his family and we got to get more comfortable with each other, which was, which was, um, which helped me acting, help act more. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's awesome. And that's amazing that you guys had that bond. And your character itself, Miguel, um, he's a very good kid and like a dreamer. Um, so how did you prepare for your role? And what do you think was the hardest aspect of his personality to, I guess, um, act out? Um, well, there was a really hard, um, hard, um, a hard thing to act him out because it was, it was basically me. Like I was basically like him and um well my mom um did cross the border illegally and once i heard that she did that i um as soon as i got the role it actually it was actually basically telling my mom's story and i wanted that bad because i wanted to see what my mom had to go through so i wanted to um have the experience that like it wasn't easy for people to cross the border Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. And the story itself is kind of like a bond and it's like a road trip between you and Jim. So I guess what was your favorite part about the story itself? My favorite part is just them two bonding together while in the car, just learning about each other, learning um, each other's lives and him understanding how difficult it was for um, um, Miguel's mom to die. And he Took care of him like he was he was um his son yeah i it's all like the chemistry uh or like the the bond between you guys really on camera and that was so special and i think your character in a way is almost searching for a father figure considering he lost his father and now his mother so do you think that's why he trusts jim at one point because i know at the beginning he was kind of distant yeah i feel like that too he at first he didn't really trust uh who he was um, but once they started getting to um, know each other more, he felt comfortable like he was his dad, like he would take care of him and bring him back to his family. Yeah, and what was, I guess, the hardest thing? Because I, I saw the film, obviously, and um, it looked very, well, it's an action movie, obviously. So to you, what was the hardest scene to film? Like maybe one of the scenes where you guys were uh, fighting with the other people? Yeah, um, the hardest one was um, one of Juan Pablo was actually pulling my hair because I didn't wear anything. I didn't wear a wig for that. He was actually pulling my hair, which helped me, which helped me in the scene cry, which helped me in the scene cry. 
which I was supposed to, which was really good. But also after we did that like five times or 10 times, that my head was itching so bad. But it was also a really good memory to um, not forget about how how um, real it could get even behind the scenes. Yeah, for sure. That's funny. I didn't know that he was actually pulling your hair, but it looks super believable in the final cut. So I guess that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. So um, what was your favorite part about being on set? Was it mostly filming or being with all your other castmates? It was more about being with my other um, uh, my castmates because we um, had a party together. We all partied. I taught Liam how to bowl. We were bowling and we just all connected. We just all bond. We learned about each other. It was just, we just got way more comfortable with everyone in the whole um, cast and everyone helping. And we we just made jokes with each other. I try to I try to scare other people. So we just had a fun time like all around. Absolutely. It seemed like you guys really bonded as a, a family. And how was working on the Marksman a life-changing experience? And would you like think you appreciate films more now that you're actually having on a set of like a huge feature one? The experience was very, very um nerve. I was very nervous, like very nervous, because I realized I was a big star and it's going to be a feature film. But at first I'm like, oh, dang. But then I got used to it. The experience was amazing. I got to have fun with other people. And what was the other question again? Um, do you love films more that you kind of were on set and can you appreciate them more now? Oh, yeah, I would. I would appreciate them like 150 percent they're, they're awesome. the best yeah thank you so much jacob i am so proud of you and you did amazing in the film so thank, thank you so much you for so talking much. with me thank you so much thank you all so much for watching if you liked it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other kids first reviewers and reporters on this channel bye yeah